Today we are talking about handbags. So ladies, we are going to help you to find the perfect handbag to go with every outfit and also how to avoid some of the common uh, handbag styling mistakes that women can make. So whether you are someone who is obsessed with handbags like Kelly, or whether you are someone like myself who really uses my handbag just to kind of carry my wallet, keys, and phone in, you are definitely going to find today's video extremely helpful. Yes, I am so excited for this one. This is probably my favorite topic of all. If you are new to our channel, hi, I'm Kelly. This is my best friend, Christina. We make videos twice a week all about fashion, and we would love to have you join us. So if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Our first tip and our most important tip is making sure that you are styling the right handbag for each occasion. So nothing can ruin an outfit more quickly than selecting the wrong handbag. So let me give you an example. If you are going out on the evening, maybe having a date night with the husband and you've got the cute evening outfit on, nothing can ruin that outfit faster than grabbing your everyday huge tote bag. Instead, you want to style that with like a cute little clutch or even a crossbody that has a chain strap to it. The same thing can also be true if you are going to the gym and you have your workout gear. I have seen women before carry these structured designer tote bags and that handbag definitely does not go with a workout um, outfit. Instead, you want to grab one that is appropriate for working out, maybe even like a little um, backpack or something like that. And the same thing can also be true if you are, you know, in the office and you're working. That particular bag may be great for going to the office, but it might not be appropriate for casual everyday events. So ensuring that you pay attention to the type of bag and which occasion you're wearing it for is extremely important in making sure you pick the perfect bag with every outfit. Our next tip for choosing the perfect handbag for your outfit is to add a pop of print or color. So this is really a fun way to add interest to any look. If you are wearing something that is very neutral or even monochromatic, adding a pop of print or color through a handbag is a really fun way to add some interest to the outfit that you're wearing. So that could be anything from maybe a pop of red in your handbag, a beautiful blue color, or if you have a signature color like myself, that would be pink. I love to add a pop of pink, especially when I'm wearing a very monochromatic, light neutral outfit. A pop of color can even actually be another neutral. So let's say for example, you are wearing a head to toe black look. You could add a little neutral handbag, maybe in a camel color or even a white is really pretty to just add some interest to that look. You can also do this with some prints. So that could be something like a checkered tote. We've shared some great checkered totes here before. Those are great for when you're wearing a lot of solid colors. Just having a little bit of print to your bag is really just a fun way to make that outfit a little bit more exciting and interesting and add something new and fun. So a handbag is a really great way to do this and there are so many great options. Another important styling tip for your handbags is ensuring that you are wearing the correct size bag for your stature and for your body frame. So you want to make sure that you're really paying attention to proportions, especially if you are someone who is petite. If you are carrying a overly large tote bag, it can kind of make you look as if you are carrying around luggage versus a handbag. And the same can also be be true if you are taller in stature or have a larger frame and you are carrying a very small bag, it can actually make you appear larger. Now that doesn't mean that if you are taller or have a larger body frame that you always have to carry something that's very large, a big large tote. It just means like if you have a clutch, you really kind of want to stay away from those smaller clutches and have one that is a little bit larger, one that will really balance your proportions. So this is one where it will complement your body shape, it'll complement your body frame when you pay attention to the size of the bags and the size of your body. 
Our next tip for choosing the perfect handbag for any outfit is to consider the season. So in spring and summertime, we definitely find ourselves wearing softer, lighter colors, some pastels as well as some florals. And in fall and winter, we typically reach for those darker tones, lots of blacks and browns and deeper, darker shades. So we also want to consider this with our handbag choices. Nothing will ruin a beautiful, soft, floral, summer dress more than a black handbag. It just doesn't work together. It's just not the right choice. So if you have some softer shades, maybe some whites or light blush tones, as well as some wicker or different summery style bags, those are going to be your foolproof choices when you're pairing them with these soft pastels and softer colors in these seasons. And if you have your black bag, your dark brown tote or burgundy or some cognac colors, those are going to work really well with those deeper, darker fall and winter tones to really create the perfect looks. Now that's not to say that there will never be some overlap. We love winter white, so sometimes you might be creating a monochromatic look and you may be able to use those handbags year round. But overall, you're going to want to make sure that in your handbag collection, you have some seasonal options for spring and summer as well as for fall and winter that really complement those outfit choices. Another easy tip and one you will definitely want to consider is if you are wearing a printed outfit to style it with a solid colored bag and not a printed bag. Um, styling a outfit that has maybe florals or polka dots, stripes, even gingham or plaid with a printed bag can really cause those prints to clash and cause them to compete with one another. Instead, when you have these printed outfits, whether it be a dress or a top or a skirt and styling it with a solid colored bag, it will allow the outfit to really shine and really keep your bag as just an accessory that helps to complement the overall outfit. So mixing those prints together, even though on the rarest of occasions you can do it, more often than not, going for that solid bag will ensure that you have a stylish and put together outfit. Another thing that's really important when choosing your perfect handbag for an outfit is to avoid handbags that look very cheap. Now, we are not suggesting that you need to spend a ton of money on designer luxury handbags. We have definitely shared some beautiful handbags on our channel at very budget-friendly prices, and there are lots of great options out there. What we're talking about is really avoiding those materials that give your bag a very cheap look to them. So in spring and summer, it's really easy to do this because if you are choosing bags that are made of things like wicker or straw or rattan, those materials are going to pretty much look the same whether you paid hundreds of dollars for that handbag or you found it for $20 on sale. So those are great options where people really aren't going to know how much you spent on your handbag. It's not going to look cheap. It's going to look really beautiful and stylish. Same thing goes for materials materials like canvas. You can find some great canvas bags that really don't look much different than the canvas designer handbags that go for thousands of dollars. So just really looking at the material that's being used in a handbag and avoiding those fake leathers that maybe look like they are made from plastic, ones that are very hard and very shiny, and really looking for things maybe that are like a softer material that looks more leather-like or even like a pebbled leather. Really just being picky about the materials that you are choosing is going to give your handbag a nicer, classier, more elegant look and not make your outfit look cheap. Another tip that we have for styling handbags is to not follow trends blindly. So one of the most popular trends right now is the daytime clutch because it's just oh so practical or the mini handbag. So you really want to consider your lifestyle, consider you know what your personal style is and sometimes those trends they may be hot and you might be tempted to go ahead and purchase some of those handbags. 
However, what you will find more often than not is that you're not really wearing them because they don't go with your lifestyle or they're not really matching with the outfits that you're wearing. So instead, just kind of consider that, hey, these trends might be great, but some of them are best left for other people and really purchasing ones that you can build your wardrobe around is a much better choice versus just blindly following those trends, regardless of how hot they are for the season. Our final tip for how to find the perfect handbag for every outfit is to have at least one nude handbag in your collection. Now this can really be any style of handbag depending on your personal preference. So for some of you that might be a crossbody, for some of you maybe a shopping tote, for some of you maybe a handheld or a satchel, there are lots of great options out there. For me I like to have one of each because I love nude, I think it's perfect. The reason we suggest this is because nude is really going to work with all of your outfit color options. So whether you are wearing darker shades in fall, winter, or lighter shades in spring and summer, this is your go-to everything bag when you're just not sure which bag to pair with an outfit. So for me, I have one bag in particular that just really works with just about anything, and it's especially great for travel. So when we're traveling, we're probably going to be packing all different types of clothing options for day and night, different color options, but we don't want to have to pack a bunch of different handbags. So having a basic nude handbag that really is in a style that you gravitate toward is going to be so helpful to you. So I have a designer one that I love, I've owned for years. We happen to have found the perfect dupe for that bag, so we'll make sure to link that one down below in case you're looking for something. I love a great crossbody, but there are so many great options, but no matter what you choose, make sure you have at least one nude in your handbag collection. Well, hopefully you found today's video very helpful and you learned some things and were reminded of some things that you already kind of knew about styling your handbags. And we will see you ladies next time.